Hey guys, again, I want to thank you guys for watching. This, my name is Ken Marlin. I am the Windows Champ, and I want to take you guys through the different service channels for Windows 10, um, specifically IoT, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, the LTSC versus the semi annual channel or the SAC. Now, the service channels used to have different names. They used to be CBB, Current Branch for Business, is now semi annual channel, SAC and long-term service branch LTSB is now long-term service channel LTSC. Let's get that out of the way uh, to start. And let's first look at the long-term service channel. What I've done is I've created basically a chart to give you all the info in one easy, simple place. So what's great about this chart, especially what is so simple about long-term service channel is that you get 10 years of support and there's only three LTSC or LTSB editions available right now as of this video. So you have the original LTSB 2015. You have the middle one in green, the LTSB 2016, which was based on Redstone 1. And lastly, the latest release, which is LTSC 2019 based on Redstone 5. Now what I've done is I've included the build versions as well as the code names, Threshold 1, Redstone 1, and Redstone 5 and then the actual name of the product uh, as well as the very important dates of when it was released on the left and when the support or when the support starts i should say on the left and when the support ends on the right and those dates are also listed with a screenshot of the actual microsoft website down at the bottom with the actual end of life of the products themselves on the left so if you're going to use the embedded iot licenses um, those licenses will be available until those end of life dates on the lower left hand corner. Um, but the support, which is the most part, or what we'd call the extended uh, mainstream extended support end date, uh, is on the far right. And so if you built your device, you would be locked into that build version. Example, build 1809. You would lock into build 1809, and you would be good until. January of 2029 on support um, and it's available it's actually will go into life in November of 2028 but you'll get a, basically another year or not not a year actually it's just a, a couple of months and then the support will end too so um, super simple another LTS C, uh, C edition will come out probably in two or three years but lock yourself into the build no new features but you get all the quality updates so you get all the hot hot fixes, security patches, but you will never get a new build. Keeps your device reliable and easy to manage and control the updates. In comparison, let's take a look at the SAC or the semi-annual channel servicing model. And you can see there's a lot more colors, a lot more choices on here. And the tricky part is if you are building an appliance, you have to keep your appliance build version in what we'd call the sweet spot of support. Um, and the huge thing to make note of here, as the bullet points on the left state, that there are only two active SACs at any given time when it comes to support. And moving forward, the minor releases, they'll call them minor ones that come in the uh, spring uh, in March, will only have an 18 month service window. And that starts with uh, this latest one, the Redstone 5, um, sorry, actually, uh, it'll start here this this coming March with build 1903, uh, March of 2019, which is codename 19H1. Um, and then the major releases will come out in September, and those major releases will get 30 months of support. Thus, if you look at the bottom of this chart on the right, build, um, uh, it, it'll ultimately be 19H2 or build 1909. Uh, which we need to add, I need to add to this chart a little bit more, but it'll get 30 months. And so if you're building an appliance, you'd have to constantly update it with a new build to stay within the, the support dates. So obviously these dates are really important. Nice to have it all on a single chart that you can keep track of. And all of those dates, again, at the bottom left corner from Microsoft's website, with that, again, I'll just state, building an appliance, you should really use the LTSC, but if you have to, for some reason, have the latest and greatest features, the SAC model 
is a good choice for you. Also, a very important note before I go, SAC to move between the builds. So if you were to upgrade from build 1803 to 1809 um, or 1809 to 1903, if you have a license for Windows 10 IoT Enterprise SAC, that upgrade is free. You would just upgrade it. And that's primarily because Microsoft's going to force you to upgrade in order to stay within the support window. And so if you have that license, an SAC license, no charge for that upgrade. Just keep right on upgrading your devices and going. But you have it's very painful to manage that and constantly keep all your devices within this time frame. So, uh, but in comparison, the LTSC, for you to move between, say, the 1607, the 2016 edition, to the new 2019 edition, you have to purchase full new licenses. So, um, and, there, and you can buy an upgrade license. It's still the same car price as a full license, but if you have 2016 devices and you want to then re-image them with the 2019 edition, you need to buy new licenses. If you guys have any questions, you can reach me um, here at Arrow, ken.marlin at arrow.com or msembedded at arrow.com. And as always, thank you guys for watching.